We're gonna work out Catch Me If You Can begins on the 800 meter run. At three, two, one, go, athletes will begin the run. Once they have completed the 800 meters, they will return to their pull-up bar where they will begin 15 toes to bar. Other options are hanging knee raises where we're looking for the knees to travel above the crease of the hip. Once they have finished their 15, they will advance to the burpee box get over. We need knees to track over the box. Your foot may be placed on top of the box or when you come up, your knee may be placed on the box. To have your butt touch the box would be a no rep on the burpee box get overs. Once they have completed all that, they will return to their pull-up station. Options for pull-ups include chest-to-bar pull-ups, as well as regular pull-ups and jumping pull-ups. Once athletes have finished the pull-ups, that will complete one round of this workout, and this workout is four rounds for time. There is a 30-minute time cap for this workout. The team version of the workout Athletes will be holding onto a rope at three, two, one, go. Athletes will begin the run. Once they return from the run, they will begin their toes to bar, 20 toes to bar. There is no minimum work requirement for the team. And then they will advance into the burpee box get overs. 20 burpee box get overs. There is no minimum work requirement. Athletes may divide and conquer these reps as they strategize. After that, they will advance to 20 pull ups whether it's a chest to bar pull up or jumping pull up. And then once 20 reps have been accumulated by their team, they will begin round two, which will begin with the run and they will begin the 800 meter run. Now, four rounds for time and there is a 30 minute time cap for teams in this workout, catch me if you can.